Welcome back to the channel, designer. So, quick question before we get into this. What exactly do you do if you need to put text into shapes like this one, or this one, or this one, or this one? Welcome to day three of 30 Illustrator Tools in 30 Days. Today we're going to take a look at the Area Type tool. It's a pretty simple tool to use. There's not a lot to do, basically just a couple of clicks. So let's just hop straight into Illustrator that way and have a look at it. Now I've went ahead and just created an eight and a half by eight and a half inch artboard. I put four shapes on my artboard, just a square, a circle, a hexagon, and then this squiggly line path shape that I created with the uh, brush tool. And then just inverted it so it wasn't stroked, it was filled instead. Now to access our area type tool, we're just going to go up and you're going to hover over the type tool, click and hold, and then you can get this flyout menu and it's the second little icon down. So it's the one with the T that's enclosed inside of a shape. Now the key to using this is that you can actually click inside of the shape. If I try to do that, it's gonna give me an error message saying you must click on a non-compound, non-masking path to create text inside a path. So the key here is that you need to click right on the path itself. I'm gonna click OK, and we're gonna go up here and you see how I got path there. And if you're not seeing this little pink text that I have on the screen, you're gonna to wanna to go up to View and go to Smart Guides. And you'll see if I shut this off, I don't get that anymore. So Command U turns it back on, or again, view, and then make sure Smart Guides is actually checked. So now I can click on this path, and I've got a text block now. If I click out of it, you can see it's taken that whole square, and it's actually built a text block. I'm gonna ungroup these real quick. So there's my text block. Now, just like yesterday, if you saw yesterday's video about the type tool, this creates a paragraph text or a it's not just a single line path so with this one I can edit I can stretch the box out and the the text is gonna form around the actual shape itself so again if I were to take this and paste it in here a few times so we get that same little plus sign and this tells me that I've got additional text inside of this block and if you missed that I'll, I'll put a link up in the top corner you should see a card there now go back and watch yesterday's video so again, same thing with the circle. I'm going to come over here and you see how that changes. It lets me know that I'm on there. Now, circles are a little bit weird because we get kind of this ragged edge for the text. I'm not going to get fully into this, but one thing that we can do is just center the text, okay, which you can find in your paragraph, or you can find it up top in this taskbar. A couple of different ways you can do it, but I'm going to get into full type tools later on. This is something that I'm going to cover in depth once... I'm done with this 30 days. I'm going to come back and hit on some of the tools that maybe need a little bit more clarification, a little bit more instruction. Our hexagon, same thing. If I click on the, the border, we get the text that fills in. Something that I like to do with hexagons is to fill it right out. Now, again, you want to be careful. We don't want to get rivers in our text here that you can see here. And once again, I'll cover this down the road. Our last one, and I don't know why you would want to do a shape like this, but you never know. Maybe you're making a poster for Rob Zombie's new Blob movie, which was supposed to be made like seven years ago and never did get made and probably never will get made. But moving on, if I click on the outside edge of this one, we still get that weird kind of angular text. And again, this is it's fully editable text at this point. So I can do all of my different paragraph options. I can write a line, left a line, we can put our text up in size, work with kerning, leading, all that kind of stuff. So no matter the shape, if you're looking for odd shapes and you want to put text inside of them, again, it's just the area type tool that you can find under the flyout menu for the type tool. And then make sure you're clicking on the outside path. So like I said, really quick, this is a short one for today. A couple of these videos are going to be this format. I mean, some of the tools just aren't that difficult to use. I'm hoping you guys are picking up some information out of these. Again, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot of new content coming out in the new year. Some of what I want to do coming up in the 2020 is not going to be these daily videos like this. This is just a 30 day challenge. I'm going to start doing weekly content and I'm going to walk you guys through the processes of being a graphic designer. Things like 
how to create a brochure, how to work with a client, how to set up your invoicing and a couple of different invoicing programs that I know of. There's gonna be a lot of tips and tricks coming in 2020. All right, designers, I had to get busy working on tomorrow's video, so get out there and create something, and I'll see you in the next one. That got it that time. You know, these endings, I'm doing like, you don't know unless you're here how many takes I do on this stuff. I mean, that one was like five takes, I think. Probably more. I just lose count after a while. It happens.